full of laughter and full of life. No one could have expected that hours after this video was taken, Kara's heart would stop for 22 minutes. I literally dropped dead. There's there's no other way of describing it. It's it's just very, very bizarre because I, I don't remember the week before and I don't remember most of my time in the hospital. Basically, my, my heart just suddenly stopped. Kara's still here today because her friend Michael had CPR training from his time as a soldier. If, if he wasn't around me or someone that didn't know CPR was was around me or if I was by myself, I would not be here. There's, there's no other way around it. It's CPR that that saved my life. A lucky escape, all the more important for a family who'd seen this before with different results. So on the 1st of February 2000, we lost our mum to cardiac arrest. She was just 34. I was two at the time. Uh, my sister Cara was uh, four at the time and an older sister Leah was seven. When Janine died, Enya was just a baby. No one was around to perform CPR. In Wales, 6,000 people have cardiac arrests in the community every single year. And research shows less than half of us would be confident performing CPR. If they are unresponsive and not breathing normally, for 999. That's what prompted the family to campaign for it to be taught at school. Not something you think of, really, until something like this happens. Mm. And when we looked into it and it wasn't there, and especially this day and age where everything's about preemptive measures, that's when the ball started rolling. Now, Wales's Education Minister has confirmed that CPR will be taught across schools in Wales. After months of campaigning, that means a lot to the Maguires. If it's one life saved, it's the same a family going through all the emotional stresses, anything that goes with that. If it can just save any family going through that is that's a major, major plus, it's got to be. It almost makes it feel, and I feel like my mum, if she was here, she would say the same thing. As much tragedy that we've had, something amazing has come out of it, and it, it kind of almost makes me feel like I'm almost kind of glad it happened. An effort driven by a family remembering who they've lost, thankful for who they haven't, and hoping that no one else will have to go through the same. Jan Preetkara, ITV News.